All right, we're back. We're going to do a class A scenario subnetted and to find the network address, the broadcast address, the first usable host, and the last usable host for this IP address with this subnet mask. Okay? So let's do it pretty quickly. The easiest way to do this is to say, what's the magic number? If you have slash 15, what is the magic number? Two. Two. The magic number is two. But how did he find that out? Well, you have to write it out in binary. You write slash 15 in binary like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay? There's fifteen ones and then a zero. And then the rest is all zeros. Okay? All right, so. All you have to know for the magic number is what is the place value of the last one, okay? The last one. Well, you've got here in the second octet, you have one, 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 seven ones and a zero. The place value of the last one is in the twos place, right? Why? Because eight bits, the place values are as follows, once again, 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Because this is 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1's place, 2 to the 2's place, 2 to the 3rd power's place, 2 to the 4th power, 2 to the 5th, 6th, <coughs> and 7th power. Right? And then we have these place values. Okay? Just like in decimal, but it's based on 10 in decimal system. You have the 1's place, the 10's, 100's, 1,000's, 10,000's. But in binary, it's the ones, the twos, the fours, the eights, every time it doubles, right? So, just fill it in. One, 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 four, five, six, seven, and a zero, right? Okay, and if you add all of these up, you can figure out the subnet mask. You know that the magic number is the last place value, the magic number is two, right? But if you want to write out the um, subnet mask in decimal, it would be 255.254 dot zero dot zero. Okay, why 254? 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2 equals 254. Okay, so if the magic number is 2, right, that means the networks go up by 2 in the octet of interest, which in this case is the second octet. So, You've got 110.0 would be the first network. 110.2, let's put the dot zero dot zero, dot zero dot, would be the second network. 110.4.0.0 would be the third network. And so on and so forth. And if we got there, we'd see that 110 dot eight dot zero dot zero is the first uh, one two three four the fifth network is the one ten dot eight dot zero dot zero network goes up by two so the network address is one ten dot eight dot zero dot zero okay now the next network is going to be one ten dot ten dot zero dot zero and if that is the next network, then we can extrapolate that the previous address, the last address before the 110.10.0.0 would be 110.9.255.255. That would be the last address before 110.10.0.0. Okay, so that's the last address, and that's the broadcast address. And the first usable is very easy to find after that, 110.8.0.1. And the last usable, 110.9.255.254. And there you have it. And that's how you find those, uh, find these answers, the network address, the broadcast, the first usable host, and the last usable host from this scenario.